Hi, my name's Tony. I'm a paramedic and been around for almost three decades in the field. So when we do EKGs, we're always told it's a picture of the heart. So if I say you want to go to the DMV or get a passport, they're not going to take this, they're not going to take that. They want a picture that shows me in a way that's accurate. Lindsay was kind enough to put electrodes, like a typical crappy picture. God help you, a cardiologist runs down to rip you into an asshole because they tend to be a little anal about this, and for good reason. Getting electrodes on right is like every other measurement. If you do a blood pressure like crap, that throws everything else off. If you can't count a pulse rate, it throws everything off. Let's say you want to look inside a house, and I want to look at the right atrium, and someone who doesn't know what they're doing takes that V1 and puts it way the heck down here. Well, basically what it's forcing me to do is look way down at the right ventricle. If you go way too high, now you're essentially duplicating that right limb lead. So it's like being on the firing range, you're assigned a part of the heart to shoot, and you want to hit that, otherwise you're just shooting someone else's part of the heart or shooting the same area twice. So there's cases documented where people placed these leads so far low and gave a confusing picture so the inferior ST elevation MI was not diagnosed until 12 to 24 hours later. But one case, I believe a woman died or had deficiencies from this. It typically happens in females because people tend to go way too low, but it can happen on anyone. You will hear criteria for determining a STEMI as being just a half millimeter of a voltage difference, but people are putting this all over the place. That's like saying, oh, I got a bullseye. And yeah, but it was the other guy's target. You missed the target completely, but you missed really straight. V1 and V2 go at the fourth intercostal space. Just on either edge of the sternum, the muscle is thinnest, count the first intercostal space, second, third, and fourth. And that would be where V1 goes. This is probably the most important spot to get when you do EKG because if this is wrong, everything else will be off. V2 just goes right opposite it, and the nipple is going to be aimed right basically next to the sternum because that gives the best view of the pacemaker section in the atrium of the heart. It went from G-rated to R-rated. <laughs> I see people put V1 and V2 way the heck out here as if they're like horns or something. That's the point. It's count down first intercostal space, second, third, fourth. You'll notice it's always staying medial here, okay? Medial meaning well inside. If you have someone with massively huge boobs, laying them back is probably the easiest way to pull everything to the side so you can access this better. Mid-clavicular line, so where I cut this at clavicle, straight down, vertical line, and one rib space lower, V3 goes right smack in the middle, not down here. V5, anterior axillary line, so axillary means armpit, so if you just kind of went to the front here along the side of the pec, it's gonna be there. You're just gonna be in the same line. Whatever this V4 was or V4 was at, you're gonna keep it in the same line along the sides. Because we're not imaging ribs, the ribs are just there as landmarks to describe where to place it. What we're doing is trying to look at the heart from the sides and this, this electrode here, which is mid axillary line, so right. If you want to get your finger gooey and tickle someone's armpit, your right smack in the center, that's where you're going to be at the side of the thorax. Let's say you just wanted to shoot someone in the heart. Every time you shot through that electrode, you should hit the heart. As far as placement, whether it's actually on the limbs or on the chest, if you're going to go wrist, go ankles. If you're going to go elbows, go roughly at the mid thigh. If you're going to go shoulders, go as high up in the hip as you can. If you're going on the chest wall itself, it's super important that you try to get the electrodes at the far corners of all the moving spots. So all of our abdomens and chests move. So you want to try to get as low as you can, like where the belly crease is, up here above the rib cage. And this is of course why if you do a 12 lead, you're supposed to have the patient hold their breath while you're running it. When you have that medic who doesn't know what they're talking about and always does electrodes way, way at the end of the wrist, you're introducing a whole lot of artifacts, arm movement, shake, what have you, not to mention the wires get stuck in everything. So the closer you are, the less the wires are in the way and the less artifact you have and the bigger the signal is and cleaner the signal is without all the hair and fat and all the other movement in between the electrode.